Hi everyone, hope you're having a super wonderful Saturday. So let us discuss Meta and my general irritate, irritants with like content creators. Uh, in the background, we've got some free to play footage. Uh, so this is from my alt account. Don't expect too much. It's just there for the, uh, having some fun. If you've seen my previous F2P video, uh, please check that out. That sort of describes this comp in detail. Uh, so why am I mentioning the comp? Because this is actually going to tie into my point on Meta. So what is Meta? It is most effective tactics available. Uh, available for what? That would be the Spiral Abyss clause 9 to 12 and getting a good 9 star clear. So what Meta entails is using a specific set of characters. Uh, particularly if you're in the free to play community, you would also need to use a particular set of F2P weapons, which is kind of weird and that you need to do it like that. You can do it with any weapon. Um, and you, with this specific team comp, with a specific build, you will then, if you play it properly, um, you can then get close to um, nine starring like the final floor Abyss 12 in a fairly consistent manner. And that is sort of the key the word consistency because you don't want to build like a team that is just good for one floor uh, that's the whole point about meta is that it should be generally uh, be good for all of the floors even though you could play like build a team comp for each specific floor separately because it really doesn't matter how you do it and it also doesn't matter whether you clear the spiral abyss in 10 seconds or exactly like three minutes on the dot to get your nine stars none of that matters um, but uh, for people that play meta, and if you don't know some meta team comps, that would be like Xiang Ling, Xing Shu, uh, Bennett, and then Kazua. Uh, and you could like also have Xiong Yun in there, and that would be like called the national team. Uh, recently, there's been like some variation on that, like using Raiden instead of Xiong Yun. And then, of course, you've got the more expensive meta team comp, which is Mona and Ayaka, or Mona and Ganyu, or some sort of permafreeze. Um, comp which you can also then substitute in a sucrose or a kazua or even a venti so the problem that i've got with meta is particularly if you're a free-to-play player is the fact that as a free-to-play player you are being told how you must spend your resources and your effective um, game time so Genshin Impact is a game that if you're free to play, and I can sympathize this because I've got this sort of like light spender free to play-ish account. Um, resources are tight. They are really tight in terms of Primo Gems, leveling up, resin, all of this. So for a game that I'm spending hundreds of hours on, which we've all been like spending hundreds of hours on, to be told what I should not only play, but by, by implication what I should wish for, um, it's kind of like disingenuous. Instead, what I would actually like content creators to do is to actually be more, is to actually like explore, explore more opportunities in terms of team building and team comps, whether they are quote unquote meta or not. So what do I mean by this? If you are someone that's free to play and you've been following the meta religiously since day one, then you would li most likely, I'm assuming, have a Chong Yung built up. But the problem is, that is a lot of resources on one character that is now sort of becoming obsolete because A, new characters are being released and B, new content is being released so the meta will slightly shift from time to time. So the big question I would have as a free-to-play player, AR, you know, 56, that has like spent all my time in this game and religiously following what the guys in Kaching mains and all these sorts of theory crafting websites are telling me to do, my question is, what do I do about my Chong Yun? Um, because my Xiong Ling and I, you know, I've pulled now for the Raiden Shogun. It was, um, you know, she was really awesome. Everyone was like, there was hype for the Raiden Shogun. Uh, so what do I do about this character? Um, let's say you're a free-to-play player and you lost, um, and you accidentally, you were trying to build Pity, whatever, and you got Kokomi. And now you're like, okay, well, I've got a Beido and I've got like this Chong Yun. And I see sort of, I've got a, a Xing Shu, so can I put like, um, I don't have a Rosaria, but can I put my Chong Yun in this team comp? Well, no one's going to answer that question. In fact, these types of questions is something that a lot of content creators don't answer. So for instance, take Kokomi's release, for instance. No one really, everyone, and I, and I don't know why, tried to use Kokomi in like a solo environment and just kept sort of saying the character is bad because she doesn't do enough, enough damage. And then it's like, well, why aren't you guys playing her with the advertised team comp? That is Rosaria, Beidou, uh, Kokomi, and uh, uh, Xing Shu. 
And a lot of people will be like, no, 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 no. Xing Shu is the meta player. He should belong with Xiangling and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, perhaps not everyone's got like decently built uh, um, my character. So why not make a video about the advertised team comp? That'd be really cool. And like sort of what are some variations and how you could get around this as a free to play player? Um, that is like what I mean by my irritate, irritants with content creators is the fact that they don't actually really properly explore um, great alternatives. And so that's why what you'll find on YouTube in particular is that you'll get a lot, a lots of really awesome free to play content creators like with like, like a thousand or let's say a hundred views on their videos, but they are actually giving you this content, this content that you want. So that is, um, like really ironic is that the people that are supposed to be the <laughs> um, like representatives of the community um, are actually doing like a bad job at sort of giving all the characters a fair assessment and particularly helping people like free to play players and um, judge them. Um, a lot of content creators obviously have like whale characters so they can clear this domain in like 10 seconds and then complain that all their resin is up. Um, but if you're free F2P, I mean, you can see in the background, it's not like I'm destroying this abyss um, because of my artifact and stuff. I mean, it's a real grind. So whenever there's a new character, I want to know whether that character is going to give me uh, my values worth. And this is where also things become really interesting when you consider um, people listening to the meta opinion. Uh, take Beidou, for instance, right there. A lot of people said... Beidou doesn't work with the Raiden Shogun and we're all angry and sad about it but that means you've got a Beidou that's built uh, so when you've got a Beidou that's built and you're not using her because you're following the meta and you've got a Chong Yung well having a Kokomi and suddenly you almost have like a team comp like the one you've got on screen perhaps you could even replace it with that Fischl which I know you've already got since the Mondstadt days just a thought um, this is the, like so, sort of what I mean. The, the fact that we are so trapped in trying to tell people that if you, don't, if you skip out on the Hu Tao rerun or the Ganyu rerun, um, you, you're really going to ruin your account. And the fact is, well, if you skipped out on those reruns uh, on the initial banner, in my opinion, as a if you're a free-to-play player, skip out on the reruns, wait for new characters to come because there will be a new character. They are going to be more awesome. And if you save up, you can pull more constellations in trying to go for a rerun, which you can only, let's say, pull one constellation for, or just like the character, and you might even lose the 50-50. Um, it really is like weird how people approach and think about this game. So that's just why I wanted to sort of highlight these little issues. Well, tell me what you think about it. Um, that's all I have to say, um, because my footage in the background is running out. <laughs> But yeah, um, let me know, especially with free-to-play players. I'm very interested to hear. And yeah, thanks, you guys. Have a good weekend. Cheers.